Why is the iris valve the perfect process control valve? One, it's, it's linear, meaning open at 10%, get 10% flow. Open at 45%, get 45% flow. Open at 80% and get 80% flow. Pretty close. Number two, it's accurate within one, two, three percent accuracy. Number three, and most importantly, number three is repeatability. If you're operating at 40% open and 400 SCFM, and you need to go to 800 SCFM, when the valve goes back to 40% open, you'll have very close to 400 SCFM, and that makes this the perfect valve. Now let me show you what I'm talking about with this piping, the flow meter, and the actuator. We've learned that in order to have accuracy and repeatability, you need to condition the airflow. So what we do is we use a Van Stone style flange. This one is a welded flange. The Van Stone has a retaining ring, and that retaining ring actually allows this flange to rotate. So when you put the pipe in line, you can adjust it so everything's vertical. Then we use a special seven degree reducer to condition the flow. Now why do we need a reducer? Well, the 12 inch butterfly valve is replaced by an eight inch iris. An eight inch butterfly valve is replaced with a five inch iris. And so without doubt, we always have to reduce. So using this special seven degree reducer helps speed up and condition the flow as it approaches the flow meter. Now this flow meter is two diameters from the reducer and then two diameters to the valve. In particular, this flow meter is a Kurs, based in Monterey, California, just south of Silicon Valley. Beautiful part of the country, great service. And that's what I needed. It doesn't matter to me. In the past, I've used ABB, sensor flow, thermal mass flow meters, and they're they work perfect. FCI out of San Diego. F FCI stands for Fluid Components Inc. Theirs works fine. We prefer the Kurs, but I want to make you happy and put in equipment you're familiar with. So if your plant uses FCI, I say we use FCI. We've got the two diameters before the flow meter. The flow's been conditioned. We have two diameters after before the valve. Remember, the valve is a centrally closing orifice, so the flow is going directly through the center, giving us the best possible accuracy. This gray device is an actuator. Typically, we use electric actuators, and the brands are either AMA or Rotork. They're both good. All we need is a precise, linear actuator that doesn't move too quickly. You might find that your local AMA guy or your Rotor guy is your favorite guy and he comes by the plant all the time and helps you out. That's the actuator we want to use for your system. Moving along, I've shown you the Vanstone flange, which is the flange that rotates to allow you to align everything vertically. We've talked about the seven degree reducer, which actually is a total of 14 degrees, seven degrees on each side. Quality flow meter, similar to the Kurs, two diameters to the valve, and then a quality actuator. Like I said, I don't care if it's AMA or Rotorque, they're both very good. On the downstream side though, we have another seven degree reducer. And that seven degree reducer helps us with what's called pressure recovery. Now, I sell this based on a low pressure drop at Qmax it's 0 0.15 PSI. Now, without a doubt, customers call me every week and say, hey, Paul, I need 2350 SCFM Qmax. I need a valve that can run at 1100 SCFM. That's my design. But I'd like to turn down to 200. Can you turn down beyond 10 to 1? And the answer is yes. But we size and select a valve for Qmax at that low pressure drop of 0.15 PSI. Now using this seven degree expander, it allows us to capture some pressure recovery and help even reduce the pressure drop further. Let's open the valve. Currently we're at 60. By turning the handle, you can see the valve is moving 
as we get to 65% open, 70% open, 75, 75, and there we are at 80%. The iris valve is the perfect process control valve. Why? Because it is a centrally closing orifice, much like the aperture on your camera. So it's opening and closing, opening, closing. Unlike that butterfly valve that you're replacing, which has a disc in the flow stream. And when that disc is straight and parallel, it's fine. But it's never that way. And when it's closing, that creates turbulence. Turbulence creates instability and pressure drop. It's a product I believe in. We've installed it. And guess what? It's quickly becoming the industry standard for process control in North America.